Okay, okay. I'm making sure that I'm on you guys. Hello, hello. Um, you guys are going to have to work with me on this because I have been working on getting this video out for days now. Um, as I may have told you in my previous video when I decided to let you know that I was getting off of Facebook for a while that I am trying to up my game in the world of technology. And at the age of 52, that is not easy for me. I'll say that for me. So I am skipping trying to do this video and then prepare it. I am just going, I'm going at it. I'm going live with it. So I'll have to deal with any hiccups. And um, I am going to be quick. I want to first thank everybody that supported me and just commented because it did matter. Uh, some of you reached out to me behind the scenes just to make sure I was okay. And, and I am and I was. It's just that for me, um, my time alone is important to me. And I was getting to a point where I really was feeling just depleted. So um, my silence, and if you did not get a chance to watch my previous video and you don't know where I'm going with this or why I'm here doing this, I, again, I just came on and told you guys I was going to be offline for a while and I needed to just silence my life. That did not go as I would hoped it have. I don't know why these lines are circling, but anyway, um, so I'm sure it's something I did. But anyway, I did that, did not go as silent as I would like for it to have been, but I did get some time in. So we are back, meaning Butterfly Evolution Radio Show, because I did announce that as well. This will be our first show back on since 2020. So we've had a good long time off. But we are excited to be back as well. So our first show, Butterfly Evolution Radio Show, we will return Tuesday, February 16th. A couple of changes we've made. The show used to start at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. We will now go live at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And I said go live. I don't know if we will go live on Facebook each and every Tuesday. For us, for me, that is a lot of work. Um, and so for the most part, we'll probably just stay like we've been with blog talk radio. You will be able to call in, um, and comment or whatever, however it is you can register as a follower. You can come online and, uh, online live with us and all of that, but we may not do the Facebook live every Tuesday. So, uh, that being said, and of course my battery is low. That being said, keep that in mind. First show, Tuesday, February 16th. Second show is the 23rd of that's February, Tuesday as well, 7 o'clock. Remember, the time has changed, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Our first show is just going to be very casual. Hello, you guys. We're back. What have you been up to? Tell you what we've been up to, what we have going on new in our lives, um, Rodney and I, and how we plan to do some things differently this year with the show. So... We have some exciting things uh, to announce, and so I hope you guys will join us. Uh, we will introduce our guest speaker for our show on the 23rd. So we're bringing back, and he'll be in, be online with us uh, Tuesday, this show. But again, we're just going to introduce him and then tell what we're going to do for the show on the 23rd. And our guest speaker is going to be Trent Williams. If you guys have not heard of or met or know about. He is an, a motivational speaker, author. Um, he writes poetry, I believe, and some other things, but he's been through a trying time, but he's still standing, he says, and he's ready to get back to his purpose. He's passionately ready to get back to his purpose um, of motivating people, um, having those deep rooted conversations that we are so often afraid to have because it requires that you deal with yourself so those are the two things and i'll have um rodney and trent drop their links their pages um in this video after the fact which is why i was trying to do the videos and get them on to you so that all of that would be there but i've just had a hard time doing it this time for whatever reason so a couple of more things it's valentine's weekend um, happy Valentine's Day to you all. Um, during my time of silence, you guys, I realized that I have put myself and my business in a box. And I have been my 
my worst enemy, so to speak. Um, I'm stuck in my ways. I'm used to doing things a certain way. I don't really like change, although I know change happens and I talk about it. Personally, I don't like change. So I realized that I've been in this box and at the same time, I put my businesses in boxes as well. So I'm gonna be a bit more um, upfront, out there in your face, 2021. Um, and in saying that, I'm doing something this Sunday, a uh, last minute thing for you couples. I'm hosting a free seminar about love and relationships. I have a company, Bluff City Leadership, and my business has taken me to, I didn't start it for this reason, but it has taken me to coaching couples. I actually went back and I got my specialty in couples coaching. So I'm a certified life language coach and I've been since 2014, I believe. Um, and I have to get recertified every year. And about four years ago, I guess, three, four years ago, something like that, I can't remember. I went back and I got my specialty during my cert recertification. I decided I'm gonna get my specialty in couples coaching because I had started to work with couples and I just needed to make sure that I was equipped and I wasn't coming from a place, my own place. So I wanted to have that plus some additional skills. So it has, it has been interesting. It has helped me. Uh, it has made me step back and question everything about myself and my relationships and, and others as well. So I do enjoy it. Um, but again, I'm one, I have to learn to stop, reflect, take myself out of the fire when it's time to get out. So I have, I have learned a lot and I want to share a lot. So again, if you are a couple, you can be single. I, it, it doesn't matter because if you're single, hopefully one day, if you want, you will be in that relationship. So I'm going to host a free seminar and it's going to be mainly about what I do and how I do it and the tool that I use to do it with. I require all of the couples that I sit down with to take an assessment. This assessment, while I didn't take it for the relationship with someone else, meaning I didn't take it for to, to have a better relationship with someone else, at the time I took it, and it, that's interesting, it's an interesting conversation about how I ended up doing this. It has to do with, with my son, um, who just kind of told me one day, Mom, you have got to do something. I had tapped out. I had literally tapped out. So I went to Texas, and uh, there's a bit more to that story, and I'll share it on Sunday for those of you who decide to attend. I went to Texas, and I was out there for a, a week. My good friend, Tika, Shatika Beard, she let me stay with her. Um, it's a lot more around that as well, but um, I'll share some, some of that on Sunday. So I went out, did my thing, and when I got Part of taking this assessment, a um, part of taking the class required that you took the assessment. And I took the assessment and I just sobbed. I felt like I cried for days because I cried so hard because it answered questions for me and about me that I did not know I had. I knew that I felt like I was missing something, um, like I could never quite connect with people and stay connected like I wanted to. Um, it answered questions again that I did not know that I had. And so it put me kind of on solid ground. And I'm again, I'm gonna try to be quick. I came back and I told everybody that, that was in my life and that I wanted to stay in my life, you take the assessment or you get out of my life for a while. And so everybody that I asked except one person took it. I won't share who that that is, but hopefully, hopefully he will at some point in his life. But everybody, even the people that I thought would not, although I put it out there, they took it. So I was I was actually um, pleased about the the outcome, and I did that because I not only did I want to understand myself better, but I wanted to value them by understanding or through understanding who they were, how they were and why they responded to life, love, circumstances, people, and situations in the way that they did. I wanted to know what their filter was, I, all of that. And this assessment answers so many things. It kind of puts the person on paper. 
in another way, in a whole nother way. So that's how Bluff City Leadership came about. So Bluff City Leadership is mainly about helping people build and maintain healthy relationships. Okay? Building and maintaining healthy relationships. And I have learned, especially since starting to work with couples, that many people are together, meaning they're doing things. They're going to bed, waking up, cooking, maybe occasionally eating together, maybe occasionally going out. But few people are truly connected the way that they need to be connected in order to commit to that connect connectedness and then also be able to effectively communicate. So I call it the C's, the three C's. You have to be committed first to your mate. You have to make that decision. Is this the person that I want to be committed to? period i mean it, it it has to start there and then there from there you both create that that balance or that medium to where you have that connection and then you have to be able to communicate the good the bad the ugly and all of that so sunday and i'm going to put a, a separate video about that because you will have to register it will last about 45 minutes to an hour um and again, I'm going to just share a bit of information that I know have helped the people that I've worked with. Um, and you guys, I've had to tell some people like, especially, I think women, most of the women thought because I'm a woman, I'm going to agree with everything. I actually had a young guy tell me, he said, I was really apprehensive about coming to you because you are a woman. He said, but I'm glad I did come. I'm glad we came. And so, because I know we can be a bit of, I, I'm going to say for myself. I'm a woman and my, I have friends, I have people that have been in my life for a long time um, and we can be a bit challenging, okay? I'm just going to keep it real, you guys. There's some days I wake up, I don't know why I feel like I feel or what I want from anybody and if it's what I think I want, sometimes they'll give me that and I don't even know if that's what I wanted. So uh, it takes a special kind of guy. Um, to really um, tap in to their woman because you have to be so intentional and you have to really be committed to loving her and being that guy for her. Now, the same with us, the same with us. I heard something very interesting this morning that, and this is not a black thing, like I'm not uh, caught up in, in, in all that, but this is so true, this is so true. And I heard that this, this morning, but I also kind of had this conversation with uh, a black man earlier in the week. But And I'm going to try to get this right. But this guy said that he heard someone else say that a black man, the only place that a black man really gets to feel like the king that he is, is in his home. That was profound for me. And I'm going to say that again, that typically in America, the only place that a black man gets to feel like the king that he is, and, and I will not disagree with that, is in his home. So that alone um, has challenged me today um, because so often I think we look for, what do I need, what do I need? Okay, you guys, am I missing comments here? What do, you, what do I need? But rarely do we try to sit down and say, what does he need? What does she need? How does he need it? How does she need it? And then try to find the best way to give it without losing yourself. So again, this assessment changed my life. If you're interested in the free seminar tomorrow, so if you are with that couple or that guy, that girl, you don't have anything to do or you're thinking maybe we could sit down and add this to our day tomorrow. Um, please let's stay, stay up and abreast for the next video because I'll, I'll create the Zoom uh, you will have to register. There'll be a few, few questions that I'm going to ask there. And this is not about me knowing it all because you guys, I don't. I learn about myself and others through my relationship. So, and I don't always get it right. I'll tell you that. I don't always get it right. But I think the more people we have sharing that information that we don't always get it right. Let me turn this back on you guys. Um, I don't want to lose my battery here. Um, the more that we share and talk about not just the 
good, you know, because we're good for showing the good on, on social media. We're good for that. But it doesn't help us because we all go through things. We all, I don't care how certified, qualified, cute you are, I don't care what you make, what you where you live. If you are in a relationship with someone, there are days you guys are challenged. It's not about the conflict, it's how you handle the conflict. And again, I have to I have to work at that every day. So stay close for that. Um, in the there's one more thing. Um, I'm going to I'm doing this for, for a number of reasons. I'm also relaunching my relationship table talk. I did this back in 2017, 18, I think. Um, and just with with the couples coaching, um, talking with friends who are dealing with things in their relationship. Um, and I will say relationships because relationships, even with your siblings, with your parents, with your best friends or your friends, those things matter as well. Like how you connect with them has a lot to do with who you are. And how you feel and I feel as a culture as a culture um, I can't speak for other races to the extreme that I can for my race although I do know that every culture has its thing like everybody I think we think it's different for people in the sense of what we go through and it is to a degree because culturally we have experienced things differently as I mentioned about the Kings our Kings it's sad that the that the only place, and I think there's some real good, there's some truth to that, that the only place a black man gets to be the king or feel like he is important or he matters is likely, you guys, in his home. So again, ladies, if that doesn't touch your heart about your guy and your man and how he has to go out and fight and fight and fight and fight and then sometimes he has to come home and fight and fight and fight over small shit because um, you know we can get a little petty and small so I hope you guys will sign up for the seminar again it is going to be tomorrow I'm thinking I've been trying to say like what would be a good time to do this because again this is kind of a last minute thing um, that I decided this week and so I'm thinking maybe around 2 or 3 p.m. Central Standard Time why don't you guys help me on that what would you think and again I'm on Central Time so it will be about 2 2 or 3 I think and so if you were gonna join you know get a bottle of wine some I don't know some some appetizers that you like if you don't have anything planned already as a couple um, and get on zoom and, and I'm going to ask you guys feedback on a number of things um, for some shows that I'm setting up on the Relationship uh, Table Talk. And my channel is on YouTube, so you guys check that out, Relationship Table Talk. I do have a Facebook page as well. It's been out there for a while. Um, so go over and like that as well. But again, I'll do the second video um, about the Zoom seminar. Um, probably before three today I'll, I'll get all of that set up so hopefully before three but if you have some suggestions and you guys I'm looking for some couples that will stick with me this year and help me build this thing because if we save a marriage we save some children that's the one thing that helped me stay motivated because kid older people were net were never my thing I've, I've always wanted to empower young girls like that's been my thing but I got to a point where I, I started to feel really just not successful in that area because I realized I'm taking girls back some girls back to their situations in their homes and I may not get another opportunity with them for another month and if I did by then so many things had happened in between that time that it, it was very difficult for them to hold on to what we were giving them in an hour, two hour meeting. So once I realized where God was redirecting my services, I thought, well, maybe this is a way to do it from the top down. Because if mom and dad gets on the same page, then that triggers down to their children. 
and and nobody will ever get it all the way right and that's one thing i think that we should just throw out of the window there is no one way there is no perfect way but it is finding your way because that way exists that way does exist it is possible so think about that if you're going to join us tomorrow and you say hey yeah i would love to jump on the bandwagon and be one of those couples who share what you're going through. You don't have to share your information unless you want to be transparent. Sent when you get to a challenging point in your life and you guys are going through, let us know so we can share that moment, that experience that you're going through. Because if you're going through it, there are other couples who may go through it and it may break them. So how do you deal with the conflict? How do you deal with the disagreements? How do you deal with the in-laws that you don't like? How do you deal with... Um, just the differences or waking up crazy. How do you deal with the changes that take place um, with us? You know, women, when we have children or when we just grow a little bit, when we just change from, from 20 to 30 to 40, we grow a little bit wiser. The things we want are different. The things we need are different. How do you communicate that to your partner without being afraid that he or she may not understand or feel some kind of way? So, Bluff City Leadership is about that and so much more as well. Um, I have a lot more to share on that, but I, I probably have said too much already. So to recap, Butterfly Evolution Radio Show will be back live Tuesday, February 16th, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Same format, um, but I'll drop the link in this video after afterwards or before the day's over. Let me say that just for to stay stay right with that just before the day's over. Um, the next show is February 23rd. We will have a guest speaker, Trent Williams, Conversations with Trent. Um, and we're going to be talking about unconditional love on that show. Um, probably a little bit more as well, but that is going to be the focus of that show. And Bluff City Leadership, um, I'm hosting a seminar, free seminar, Sunday, 2 or 3 Central Standard Time, I think. That information will be out um, hopefully no later than three, but certainly by the end of the day. If you guys would like to attend and you think two would be better, three would be better, or any other time, I'll take the time that that works most or best for everybody because I'm, I'm free. Um, go out and like Relationship Table Talk, Relationship Table Talk, my YouTube channel, and I have the facebook page i'm working on the other things the instagram and all of that getting that created um head over to bluffcityleadership.com if you'd like check it out if you want to take the assessment that i talked about you can you can go ahead and do that i do offer a free 30 minute consultation with anybody that takes the assessment for couples that take it i offer that 30 minute uh free consultation both individually and then together so, and, and in my couples coaching as well, I require that I talk to each person individually and then I do it together. So, doing those sessions and sessions go from, it could go from four to six sessions. But I'll tell people, if you need more than six sessions, you really need to go back and rethink, what do you want? Do you want this? I don't want to take your money and I don't want to waste my time or yours. So, um, it doesn't mean you don't come back for refreshers. But, again, if you're committed, then you find the ways to stay connected and you find the ways to communicate effectively. So, three C's, committed, connected, and communication. Um, those are the things that I'm going to be talking about tomorrow, in addition to a few other things that I think will really help you guys, um, even if you are connected, to just just stay there stay there in that place uh, that we need to be because again relationships are hard because we're so stuck in our ways we're we think we know it we think we know exactly how we know it and what we want so thank you guys i'm so glad that i just decided to go live because again if you only knew how many times i've tried to get this video out to you guys over the past week um, and my phone is about to die, so I have to get off. Um, thank you, bluffcityleadership.com um, is how you can look for Bluff City Leadership. And then you can take the assessment there. Um, 
Relationship Table Talk. If you want to like the page on Facebook, go over and subscribe on YouTube, on my YouTube channel as well, because that's where I'll be doing my videos with my couples and all of that. Um, and then the Zoom seminar, the free Zoom seminar is tomorrow. I will come back today with that information of how you can sign up. And if you can't, send it to someone or share it for me because I want to at least, and I'm gonna have to, to, to cap it off. Um, I was initially thinking 25 couples max, but it just depends. If I get more than that, then I'll probably do two, two, two seminars because 25 is a lot, 25 couples is a lot at one time. So, and I wanna hear from everybody. I wanna, I wanna make sure that I'm delivering the message and that people are getting it. And so 25 will probably be my cap for tomorrow. But if I get more, I will do it again. Even if I get five more, I will do one with just five. I will do one with just one couple. So you guys, thank you again. Um, happy Saturday. Happy Valentine's. I hope that your guy knows exactly what you want and don't want. Um, and I think guys deserve Valentine's gifts as well. So I hope you know what your guy wants, ladies, um, and what they don't want. So you guys be blessed. Um, I'll be back with a second video and drops and I'll drop some links down here. Rodney and Trent probably will do the same. If you have any questions for me, you can send me a message. It'll be best to send me a message so I won't have to go through all of the things here, the comments here. But if you'll send me a message privately, Messenger, I guess is that that's the way, then I'll answer all of those. And I'm going to see, you guys, if I've missed, okay, if I've missed something here, like am I supposed to, hey Tim, um, I told you guys I'm learning this, uh, I'm learning how to do all this stuff here. Um, yeah, and so you know what you guys, I forgot to say one thing. I mentioned that I was going to try to get my old phone back up and working. I did not get to do that, so I'm gonna tell this, tell you guys what it's doing, and maybe you guys know, um, and then I gotta go because my phone's gonna die. So I have a Samsung, and it started like letting me know that it was, I guess, dying. And so when I plug it up now, and since November, I guess, early November, it has, it just, uh, I plug it up, it won't charge for number one, but if I plug it up, it'll come on and it goes off and I, if there's a line that goes straight through the middle of my phone. So someone said the battery, maybe, but my battery won't charge. So. If you guys have had that that situation, I want to fix it without going to AT and T um, or wherever you have to. I guess AT and T during this time. I don't know, but if you've had that experience and you fixed it yourself or you know how I can do it, let me know because I really would like to get my contacts, if nothing else, out of that phone and my pictures. So um, I'm using my work phone, um, and I think that's all. Thank you guys. Stay. Stay blessed. Um, stay full of love and let the people know you love the people that you love. Let them know that you love them because um, tomorrow's not promised. Um, someone passed during this time of silence that really took me to it took me back, and I thought I had learned to deal with death. Um, but I this one this one just showed me that. I'm really not there. So, um, and one of the one of the reasons I really question: Did this person really know how much they meant to me? I mean that 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 I dealt with for a while. Like one of the most sweetest people you ever want to meet. And I'm, I'm just gonna tell you guys, she was my sister-in-law. Never, ever, ever, ever has she offended me made me feel some kind of way, judged. I mean, she was just, she was a beautiful, beautiful soul. And sometimes I think we take those people for granted and we don't think that they need to hear thank you 
And I just, I, I really regret not telling her because I don't think many sister-in-laws can say that they have a sister-in-law that has never made them feel any kind of way other than loved and accepted and wanted and that I would do anything in the world for you no matter what. And that was her. And so my son called me and told me I was already in bed so Friday and what was interesting I had just turned my phone because my phone goes to do not disturb really early and so for some reason I had just I just for some reason I just took it off took the do not disturb off and before I could put the phone and down to turn back over it rang and it was my son telling me that um, she had passed suddenly and I was just in a zone like it took me back so um, 2021 is gonna be a year where I really um, make sure that the people that I love know that I love them so maybe that can be the same for you so you guys I'm not gonna I'll go through all this later um, so that I'm just not missing anybody's comment or question so thank you guys I'm getting off for, for real now I'm pressing finish thank you